What's going on, YouTube? You already know. This is your boy, Straight Ace. It's about time we talk about the first Descendant and to give my honest review about it. Let's get started. Graphically, I would say the game is beautiful from character design, skins, enemies, and environmental detail. The only downside I feel is that it needs better optimization. I pretty much everybody agrees to that. Even though I'm getting like 60, 70 FPS, some people's getting like 20, 30, even on PC with high end graphic cards. As for the story, I skipped most of it towards the end, but to, to put it bluntly, it was mediocre. Not to put any spoilers out there, but there was like one descendant that died. And I honestly did not care. I saw him a few times and I really not place him any importance to him. Or really to any of the characters, maybe one or two. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritty, the gameplay. Um, I personally enjoy the gameplay. Each descendant brings something to the table. If you come from Warframe, you we get introduced to another mod system, which I also like. As of right now, they're like no perfect builds. I'm, I'm pretty sure people putting out these videos, perfect build for this gun, perfect build for this descendant. There's no perfect build yet. The game just came out. Everybody don't have the guns, all the guns crafted yet. Nobody have all the modules yet. It's taking time to grind these out. There's no trading system like Warframe. So I feel that there's no perfect build. There's no cookie cutter just yet. Everybody seems to be doing something different that is working. And I like that. Some people running crit, some running increased elemental damage. There is something for everyone, so it's the right time, really, for experimenting. As for the enemies goes, I was actually pretty surprised at the variety that are out right now. For You know, for the game they just released. Um, some actually caught me off guard later on during the story, so I'm really hurt. So as of right now, I'm very satisfied with the variety of enemies that we have. But please do not introduce something like the taking from Destiny because those are annoying. I really didn't get too much into Destiny 2, but I love the taking from Destiny 1. And fighting the taking was annoying. I'm pretty sure annoying for a lot of folks. Let's talk about the boss battles, the Colossus, the Intercept battle. I enjoyed every single one so far. They bring different mechanics, which also makes you change your loadout to give you better chances of beating it. I know there's a lot of rumors about difficulty. Trust me when I say you have to play it to get a better understanding. Because to some, it might be easy, but to most, it's difficult. If you check out First Descendant Discord right now, there are people stuck on normal Dead Bride, Pyro, and Hangman. And some, they have stated they have been trying to finish Dead Bride for days and having no luck. And it gets to the point they in chat, in Discord, and in game, pretty much asking for a carry. So the difficulty is really per person. So if you listen to a review and they're saying this game is super easy, trust me, it, it's a variety. It's everybody have a different opinion. Some hard, some easy, some in the middle. I found that, let me see, I would say Hangman gave me the most issue because people, I was doing it in the group and people was coming in, you know, just hitting level 40 with the fresh gear that they just got. And But you do have to beat Hangman to get to hard mode to start getting the level 100 stuff. So before then, people's rocking a 70 and an 80 level gear. So for me, that was the only difficult part. When I got the hard mode, uh, it, it is what it is. It's hard mode, but I was doing better when I started doing it solo. As of right now, I play Valby. She's my favorite. She was my favorite during the beta, and I have no issues playing with her or Bunny, but I kind of wish I got Ajax. Ajax is that guy. Anyway, I'm going to try my best to you know, farm ultimate Ajax and see how that goes. But as I stated, difficulty is by person to person. It Everybody have a different opinion. It can either, either be easy or it can be hard. So all in all, I give this game an 8 out of 10. 
And if you wonder why it's so hot, that's because the foundation is there. And with a solid foundation, they can keep building on top of that and adding more things such as quality of life, descendants, dungeons, raids, game mechanics, modules, gunplay. I give this game an 8 out of 10. And if you wonder why it's so hot, that's because the foundation is there. And with a solid foundation, they can keep building on top of that, adding more things such as, you know, quality of life stuff, descendants, dungeon, raids, the mechanics. The module, the gunplay is solid. They do need to work on the grapple hook a little more and add a freaking slide. But that's about it. It's as far as this bare bone, the foundation. It's it's very solid compared to day one, Warframe and Destiny. Now, if you was there on day one, you have to agree with me here. The game was pretty rough on day one, Destiny and Warframe. And I, I, I gave a lot of hours to both games. And it took time for it to be the game that it is today. And I feel if you give the 10 years they had to the first Descendant, you would have a very outstanding 10 out of 10 game beyond the foundation point. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you, you know, there's going to be some controversial with my review but it is what it is you already know how i say it it's your boy straight ace and i'm out peace